need somebody In this video, we're going to show you how to hook up the Midas M32R to Ableton Live. We went in more depth on an earlier video, which you can go to the link in the description and find it. It'll tell you everything. We're specifically answering a question from a viewer that when he turns the fader up and down on the mixer, it's not changing the input in Ableton. And that's because it's probably set up to monitor right off the inputs on the back of the board. In this case, we're going to go out a direct out and make it post fader. So we're first gonna to go to the input stage and we're listening to local one through eight. And then go over to the card and the card is set on output one through eight. Now what you may have done, if you put it on local one through eight, it's gonna come right off the preamp and that's all you're gonna get. So in this case, we wanna change it to output one through eight. Next thing we want to do is go over to the output and we're on number three. You can see it's set to direct out right here and it's going direct out channel three and it's post fader which is set in this dial. So that's how it's set up. And uh, we'll just demonstrate how that, how that works. So we're looking at Ableton Live. We want to make sure we're set on input three. Uh, we're in record. And we're going to go ahead and bring up the mic. Check testing one, two. Check testing one, two. Check testing one, two. All right, we see we have input. And the lower we... Lower the fader, the less input we have. Check testing one, two, see it's down really low. That's all we have for this video. So I hope it helps out. Really appreciate you hitting the like button and subscribing to more videos if you find this helpful. All right, see you next time. Everybody needs somebody. Uh. Everybody